Hi everybody, Patrick from www.electroniclessons.com here and www.engineeringshock.com. Today we're working with uh, our supercapacitor bank, 96 farads at 12.5 volts. And we're going to power some AC stuff today. Not for very long. This inverter is a 400 watt inverter and it uh, takes it takes 400 and 400 milliamps to power on its own. It will shut down at 10.5 volts. So when this capacitor bank, uh, the power in this capacitor bank goes before it goes below 10.5 volts, which is literally 10% of its charge, this will stop. So it's not going to hold on for very long. But what I'm going to do is we're going to power our TV. I've got my TV plugged into it. And I'm actually going to show you. TV is not working. TV is not plugged in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I am going to plug in my inverter. Might get some sparks here. Eleven point six, eleven point five, eleven point four, eleven point three, eleven point two, eleven oh, ten point nine, ten point eight, ten point seven, ten point six, ten point five, warning, ten point five, ten point four, ten point three, error one, low voltage. So ten percent of his charge gone and the inverter stops. But we powered T V for twenty seconds. To maybe 20, maybe 25, 30 seconds? Don't know, but this bad boy still has most of its charge. So we're going to go see what else we can power with AC. Now keep in mind we have 1 farad, 20 farad, 50 farad, 120 farad, which is right here, 200 farad, and the big bad 400 farad supercapacitors that can be used as extremely large power, power sources uh, at www.electroniclessons.com. So let's go power something else. Okay, hey everybody, you're gonna see how long we can power this uh, guitar amp. I've got my bass plugged into it. Should use my bass amp, but Super capacitors, guys. Wave of the future. That's awesome.